cash versus credit. Which should I use? Is it preferable to pay with a credit card or with cash? On the other hand, credit cards are an easy method to fall into a debt cycle that may last years, decades, or even a lifetime, but they also provide an ever-present potential of going into debt. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at cash versus credit. Which should I use? Yeah, you heard it right, so let's jump right into the video. Think carefully if you're thinking of using a credit card to pay your taxes, mortgage, health insurance, or any other recurring payment to earn reward points, miles, or cash back. Many service providers do not take credit card payments. If they do, they sometimes charge a convenience fee that will likely outweigh any incentives granted. The IRS accepts credit cards for tax payments, but there's a 1.87% to 2.25% processing fee, along with the credit card's interest rate if you don't pay your bill in full. Conversely, the IRS provides no-cost, short-term payment, extensions, and installments Installment plans ranging in cost from $52 to $120 based on the financial status of the taxpayer. Late payments incur a 0.5% penalty each month and interest, the federal short-term rate plus 3%, albeit the real cost may be less than the cost of using the credit card in the first place. When you haven't yet negotiated with a creditor before using your credit card to pay an unexpectedly large or out-of-control expense, contact the company's billing department from where you acquire the item. It may be able to reduce your existing debt or provide a payment plan with better terms than your credit card. When you cannot afford what you want, it doesn't matter whether it's a restaurant supper, a new outfit, the latest smartphone, a vacation, or the wedding of your dream since childhood. A large or little purchase should not be made if you cannot afford it. Avoid succumbing to the pressures of a credit card to purchase something you don't truly desire. Card spending is essentially borrowing money from a credit card company for a short period, and you should be aware of this. As soon as your funds are in order, you cannot use your credit cards if you owe money on them. Pay the balance before adding more charges to prevent being locked in a debt cycle. Additionally, ensure that you have the best credit card accessible, depending on your credit score. See the article, Signs You Should Look for a Better Credit Card, to make purchases out of convenience that you can easily afford. When compared to carrying cash, using a credit card is more convenient and secure, as long as you can pay your account in full. There are various benefits to using credit cards instead of cash for in-person purchases and online transactions. If you need additional warranty or purchase protection, using a credit card to make a major purchase may give you peace of mind. Most credit card companies provide protection and extended warranties for purchases bought with their cards. As a Visa client, your purchases are covered by a one-year manufacturer's warranty. MasterCard offers a theft and damage warranty of 90 days and a price protection guarantee of 60 days. Perks for both brands may change depending on the card issuer. Suppose you want to raise your fraud liability. Credit cards, on the other hand, provide higher security than debit cards. A credit card holder's culpability for unauthorized activity may range from $0 to $50 depending on when the loss is reported. If the loss is reported after the unauthorized usage, on the other hand, liability on a debit card is limitless. Once illegal charges are filed, the amount of compensation is $0, $50 if reported within two business days, $500 if submitted between two and 60 days after the incident, and unlimited if reported more than 60 days later. In most situations, co-branded credit cards provide exclusive benefits to the brand. Credit card purchasers of airline tickets may be eligible for free checked baggage. Similarly, numerous hotel chains provide extra bonuses and privileges to consumers who pay with a branded credit card. It isn't easy to think of a compelling reason to carry a credit card without a rewards program. These courses have significant competition. You might get cash back or points for every purchase. Consumers who satisfy the conditions might save hundreds or thousands of dollars on their yearly home expenses. If you spend $6,000 dollars on groceries with your American Express Blue Cash preferred card in a year, you may earn 6% cash back, which equates to $360 in savings. Cardholders get less cash back on other transactions. Travelers are especially vulnerable to deceit since they are unfamiliar with the local language or surroundings. If a credit card is lost or stolen, it may be revoked and a new one provided in the time it takes to make a single phone call. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how this one was. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.